can't make it anywhere but I can I'm starting today's video before I even get moving. As you can see this I'm inside my big Agnes Fly Creek one person tent. I have everything in here today because there was a 70% chance of rain for most of the hours last night. Um, as it turns out, it didn't rain at all, so that's good. But my dirty shoes are in here and everything. I actually have my socks hanging from yesterday in an attempt to dry them, but because the humidity was so high, they didn't dry at all. So fortunately, the one thing that I have a backup of is socks. So I'll wear my other socks today. And it's supposed to rain all day today, so there's very little chance of them drying. But I am in the routine of pretty much packing up everything before I step out of my tent at all, uh, which is kind of what I think of as rainy day rules. Like if it was raining right now, then you would have to pack up everything before you stepped outside. But I do that every day anyway. So this is my sleeping pad. It's inflatable. And I'm in my sleeping pad. And I'm in my sleeping bag. And I'm in my sleeping bag liner. The sleeping bag liner is just a little flimsy, almost nothing. But it's great because this gets dirty instead of your sleeping bag get dirty. So this is a lot easier to throw in the washing machine. And also, there's been nights when I slept in only this, basically, because it's so warm. So, I really like that. But officially, the way the day starts is by letting the air out of your sleeping pad. Because as long as you're laying on this nice, warm, soft sleeping pad, then, you know, you'll, you'll just lay here all day. But as soon as you do this... And all of a sudden, you're not so comfortable anymore. Because now you're laying on the ground. So, time to get moving. Good morning. Here we are in New York. Today is my first rainy day. Uh, you can probably tell. So, I'm a little suited up. Uh, got my pack cover on my pack. It seems to do a very thorough job. Uh, last night was interesting because I stayed in a shelter that was the first shelter for at least 20 miles. And uh, the rain was expected to start around five o'clock last night. So I was on a mission to get to that shelter because I figured every northbound hiker within 30 miles would be on a mission to get to that shelter. And that was pretty much the case. So I got there at like 3.30 and I got the last bunk. There were six bunks three bunks, six people. Uh, so that place is supposed to sleep six. By the end of the night, there were 11 people sleeping in there because the, the floor was filled. Uh, and there were, I don't know, eight tents outside, I guess. Because really, in a situation like that, if you get your tent all set up, then you're fine inside your tent. Your tent will get wet, but you won't. And nothing inside the tent will get wet, as long as you're set up before it starts raining. So it was, it was very crowded, but it worked. Also, there was a uh, pizza place that delivered to there. So I got in on one of those deliveries and got a hoagie for dinner. So that was good. Today is going to rain much of the day. So uh, there's no avoiding getting wet today. But at least last night, I was able to stay dry all day and then sleep dry. Can't make it. I'm definitely on top here. See, it drops away over there. Goes up just a little bit in that direction. And then that way it just drops right off. And that's the way I'm going. And there's an extra clue for me. Hey T, that way. I learned a little bit about trail construction at Bear Mountain where they had a lot of explanation and a lot of pictures 
uh, showing different things that, that are used along the trail to keep it walkable. This stuff is called bog bridge because it's used where it's just wet and flat and it gives the hiker something to walk on but it also keeps them from walking on vegetation. And this is called corduroy. I guess for obvious reason. Uh, this rain that we're having today, which is relentless, is a little bit too much for this corduroy section, but still makes it a little easier. It's a rainy day in New York. I got my uh, hands-free umbrella set up which is actually very comfortable and helpful. I was seriously considering throwing away the umbrella many times, but now that I've actually used it in the rain, I'm gonna keep it. So here's the trail in the rain. I'm actually approaching a, another unique section here, so I thought I'd catch this. Of course, there we have our blazes telling us to turn. It's been raining. Um, two nights ago it rained a lot. Yesterday during the day it rained lightly, but lightly for many hours, so all the creeks are very high. I passed several creeks that were supposed to be water sources and before it rained that were not water sources because the water was too low and running too slow. But all the creeks are high now. So this is New York still, but I think I'm only 25 miles from Connecticut, something like that. Can't make it anywhere. 